क्वेश्चन नंबर वन अ ग्राफिकल डिवाइस यूज टू डिटरमाइन द ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट एंड प्रॉफिट पोटेंशियल अंडर वेरिंग कंडीशंस ऑफ आउटपुट एंड कोस्ट इज नॉन एज ऑप्शन ए इज अ गेंट चार्ट ऑप्शन बी इज अ फ्लो चार्ट ऑप्शन सी इज अ ब्रिक इवन चार्ट ऑप्शन डी इज अ पी ई आर टी चार्ट एंड ऑप्शन ई इज अ टेलर चार्ट करेक्ट आंसर इज अट्स कोल्ड ब्रिक इवन चार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ब्रिक इवन एनालाइज कंसिस्ट ऑफ ऑप्शन ए फिक्सड कॉस्ट ऑप्शन बी इज अ वेरिएबल कॉस्ट ऑप्शन सी इज अ फिक्सड एंड वेरिएबल कॉस्ट एंड ऑप्शन डी इज अ ऑपरेशन कॉस्ट एंड ऑप्शन ई इज नन ऑफ द अब करेक्ट आंसर इज सी इट्स ओनली फिक्सड एंड वेरिएबल कॉस्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ब्रिक इवन एनालाइज शोज प्रॉफिट वैन ऑप्शन ए सेल्स रेवेन्यू इज ग्रेटर दैन द टोटल कॉस्ट ऑप्शन बी सेल्स रेवेन्यू इज इक्वल टू द टोटल कॉस्ट ऑप्शन सी सेल्स रेवेन्यू इज लेस दैन द टोटल कॉस्ट एंड ऑप्शन डी इज अ वेरिएबल कॉस्ट इज लेस दैन द फिक्सड कॉस्ट एंड ऑप्शन ई इज नन ऑफ द अब करेक्ट आंसर इज ए इट्स ब्रिक इवन एनालाइज शो द प्रॉफिट वेन वेन द सेल्स रेवेन्यू इज ग्रेटर दैन द टोटल कॉस्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर ब्रिक इवन पॉइंट कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड बाय यूजिंग द रिलेशन ऑप्शन ए इज अ फिक्स्ड कॉस्ट एफ डिवाइडेड बाय वेरिएबल कॉस्ट वी ऑप्शन बी इज एफ अपॉन वन माइनस एस अपॉन वी एंड ऑप्शन सी एफ अपॉन एफ माइनस एस अपॉन वी एंड ऑप्शन डी इज एफ डिवाइडेड बाय एस डिवाइडेड बाय वी माइनस एफ एंड ऑप्शन ई इज वन माइनस वी अपॉन एस डिवाइडेड बाई एफ इंटू वी इंटू वी डिवाइडेड बाई एस सो करेक्ट आंसर इज ए इट मीन्स ब्रिक इवन पॉइंट कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड by using the relation fixed cost f divided by variable cost v question number 5 brick even point shows that option a sales revenue is greater than total cost option b sales revenue is less than total cost option c is sales revenue is equal to the total cost and option d is the variable cost is equal to the fixed cost and option e is it does not relate the above costs so correct answer is c it will be sales revenue is equal to the total cost is a brick brick even point okay in brick even analysis total cost consists of option a is the is a fixed cost option b is a variable cost option c is a fixed cost plus variable cost option d is a fixed cost plus variable cost plus overheads and option e is a fixed cost plus uh, sales revenues so correct answer is c it will be fixed cost and variable costs question number 7 the break even point represents option a the most economical level of operation of any industry option b the time when unit can run without loss and profit option c time when industry will undergo losses option d the time when company can make a maximum profits and option e is the time for overhauling a plant correct answer is b the time when a unit can run without loss and profit question number 8 if the cost of production of n units is a given as n plus 10000 divided by n then value of n should be as follows for the total cost to be minimum option a option a is 100 option b is 1000 option c is 10000 option d is 100000 option e is less than 100 correct answer is a question number 9 in the cost constructor of a product the selling price is price is uh, determined by the factors such as option a is a uh, sales turnover option b is a uh, lowest competitive prices and option c is a uh, various elements of the costs and option d is a uh, buyers capability to pay and option e is all of the above correct answer is e it will be all of the above question number 10 work study is a uh, concerned with option a improving present method and 
finding standard time option b motivation of workers option c improvement production capability option d is improving production planning and control option e is all of the above correct answer is a work study is a concerned with improving present method and finding standard time question number 11 basic tool in work study is option a is a graph paper option b is a process chart option c is a planning chart option d is a stopwatch option e is a analytical mind correct answer is a d it's a stopwatch basic tool in work study is a stopwatch question number 12 what does symbol o imply in a work study option a is operation option b is a inspection and option c is a transport option d is a delay temporary storage and option e is none of the above correct answer is a it's called operation question number 13 what does symbol a rectangle imply in the work study option a is a operation option b is a inspection option c is a transport option d is a permanent store shortage sorry storage and option e is none of the above correct answer is b it's called inspection question number 14 the difference between the time available to do the job and time required to do the job is known as option a is event option b is a duration option c is a flood option d is a constant so correct answer is c it's called flood it means the difference between the time available to do the job and time required to do the job is known as a flood question number 15 what does the symbol capital D imply in the work study? Option A is a inspection, option B is a transport, option C is a delay, temporary storage, and option D is a permanent storage, and option E is none of the above. Correct answer is a C, it's called delay, temporary storage. Question number 16 What does the symbol delta imply in work study option a is operation option b is inspection option c is a delay temporary storage and option d is a permanent storage and option e is none of the above correct answer is d it's a permanent storage question number 17 material handling in automobile industry is done by option a is a overhead crane option b is a trolley option c is a belt conveyor option d is all of the above option e is a none of the above correct answer is a it's called overhead crane question number 18 a string diagram is a used when option a team of worker is working at a place option b material handling is to be done option c ideal time is to be to be reduced and option d is all of the above and option e is none of the above so correct answer is a string diagram is used when team of worker is working at a place question number 19 in time study writing factor is equal to option a is a standard time small t1 divided by is a is a selected time t2 and into 100 minus percentage time on allowance t3 and divided by 100 and option b is a t1 divided by t2 and multiply 10 upon 100 minus t3 and option c is t2 divided by t1 into 100 minus t3 divided by 100 and option d is t2 divided by t1 and into 100 divided by 100 minus t3 and option e is t1 divided by t2 into 100 minus t3 divided by t3 
so the correct answer is a it means standard time t1 divided by selected time t2 into 100 minus percentage uh, time on allowance t3 and divided by 100 question number 20 work study is a most useful option a where production activities are involved option b in judging the rating of machines option c in improving industrial relations option d in judging the output of a man and improving it option e where a main or biggest contributor to successes of a project so correct answer is a work study is a most useful where the production activities are involved question number 21 micro motion study is a option a enlarged view of motion study option b analysis of one stage of motion study option c is a minute and minute and detailed motion study and option d is a is a subdivision of an operation into their uh, their blinks and their analysis option is a motion study of of a small components up to the microseconds so correct answer is d it means it means the motion study okay it's talking about the motion study is a subdivision of an operation into their blinks and their blinks and their analyses question number 22 in micro motion study dribbling is uh, described by option a a symbol option b an event option c an activity option d is a micro motion so option e is a standard symbol and color so correct answer is a e in a micro motion study dribbling is uh, described by standard symbol and colors question number 23 the allowed time for a job equals standard time plus option a policy allowance option b is interface allowance option c is a process allowance option d is a learning allowance and option e is a un unforeseen allowance so the correct answer is a the allowed time for a job analyzes standard time plus policy allowance Question number 24 Micro motion study involves the following number of fundamental hand motions. Option A is 8, option B is 12, option C is 16, option D is 20, option E is 24. So correct answer is C, it will be 16. It means micro motion study involves the following number of fundamental hand motions it will be 16 okay question number 25 the standard time for a job is option a is total work content option b is a basic time plus relaxation time option c is a total work content plus basic time and option d is a total work content plus delay Contingency allowance and option e is a total work content plus relaxation time. So correct answer is a D. It means the standard time for a job is total work content plus delay contingency allowance. Question number 26. If T1, T2, T3 and Tn be the predetermined motion times of standard elements and capital T1, T2, T3 and Tn be the actual or the selected times for these elements then rating factor in percentage is equal to option A is 1 upon N in the capital bracket T1 
डिवाइडेड बाय t1 वन प्लस टी टू डिवाइडेड बाई टी टू प्लस टी थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई टी थ्री प्लस डेस 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 टी एन डिवाइडेड बाई टी एन इन टू हंड्रेड एंड ऑप्शन बी इज द वन अपॉन एन वेर इज द कैपिटल टी वन विल बी अबाउ एंड स्मॉल टी वन इज द बिलो एंड सेम मल्टीप्लाई बाई हंड्रेड एंड इन द ऑप्शन सी देर विल बी वन अपॉन एन इन द ऑप्शन सी एंड स्मॉल टी वन माइनस कैपिटल T1 divided by small t1 and plus t small t2 minus capital T2 divided by small t2 plus dash 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 small tn minus capital tn divided by small tn into 100 and in the option d it will be the same but divided by capital T1 it means t1 minus small t1 minus capital T1 divided by capital T1 and so on them and in the option E is 1 upon n and capital T1 minus small T1 divided by capital T1 and so on them so the correct answer is A it means 1 upon n small T1 divided by capital T1 plus capital small t2 divided by capital t2 and so on them and multiply by 100 question number 27 work study is done with the help of option a is a process chart option b is a material handling option c is a stop watch option d is all of the above option e is none of the above correct answer is c it will be stop watch Question number twenty-eight is a uh, scheduling gives information about option A when work should start and how much work should be completed during a certain period. Option B when work should complete and option C that how ideal time can be minimized and option D is a uh, proper utens uh, utilization of machines and option is none of the above so correct answer is a it means scheduling gives information about when work should start and how much work should be completed during a certain period question number 29 expediting expediting function consist consist in keeping a watch on option a operators activities option b flow of material and in case of trouble locate source of troubling option c is a minimizing the analyzes option d is a making efficient dispatching and option e is none of the above correct answer is a b it means expediting function consist in keeping a watch on the flow of material and in a case of troubling locate source of trouble question number 30 choose the wrong statement time study is a used to option a determine overhead expenses is option b provide a basic for setting price uh, piece prices or incentive wages option c is a determine standard costs option d is a determine the capability of an operator to handle the number of machines and option e is a compare alternative methods correct answer is a it means that is a wrong statement time study is used to determine overhead expenses that is a wrong statement question number 31 job evaluation is the method of determining the option a relative worth of jobs option b skills required by a worker option c contribution of a worker option d contribution of a job option e effectiveness of various alternatives so the correct answer is a job 
evaluation is the method of determining the relative worth of jobs question number 32 micro motion study is option a is a analysis of a man work method by using a motion picture camera with a timing device in the field of view option b motion study observed on enhanced time intervals and options is a motion study of a sequence of operations conducted symmetrically option d is a study of a man and the machine conducted simultaneously and option is a scientific analytical procedure for determining optimum work method so correct answer is a micro motion study is a analysis of a man work method by using a motion picture camera with a timing device in the field of view question number 33 percent ideal percent ideal time for mean or machine is a founded found by option a work sampling option b is a time study option c is a method study option d is a work study option e is a abc analysis so the correct answer is a percent ideal time for mean or machines is a found by work sampling question number 34 emu emu is a method time measurement standard tmu in in method time measurement standard stands for option a time motion unit option b is a time measurement unit option c is a time movement unit option d is a technique measurement is a technique measurement unit option e is a time method unit correct answer is a b it means tmu is method tmu is a method time measurement stands for time measurement unit question number 35 time study is option a the appreciable the appreciable in a term of time of the value of work involving human effort option b is a machine setting time option c is a time taken by worker to do a job option d is a method of fixing time for workers and option is a method of determining the personal requirement so correct answer is a uh, the time study is the appreciable in the terms of time of the value of working involving human efforts question number 36 work sampling observation are taken on the basis of option a detailed calculations option b is a conveniences option c is a table of random numbers and option d is a past experiences and option is a fixed percentage of daily production correct answer is a c table of random numbers question number 37 the number of observation to be made on a machine for work sampling study for an absolute accuracy of a percentage with 95 percentage is a confidence level if probability of machine being busy is a p percent is equal to option a is a 4p in the small bracket 100 minus p divided by a square option b p into 100 minus a divided by a square option c is a 9p the small bracket 100 minus p divided by a square and option d is a 2p 100 minus p divided by a square and option e is none of the above correct answer is a it will be it will be a uh, 4p 
and this is in the in the small bracket 100 minus p divided by a square question number 38 one time measurement unit one time measurement unit unit tmu in method time measurement system equals option a 0 0.0001 minutes option b 0 0.0006 minutes option c 0 0.006 minutes option d 0 0.001 minutes option e 0 0.06 minute correct answer is b it will be 0 0.0006 minute question number 39 basic motion Time study gives times for basic motions in ten thousands of option A seconds, option B is a minutes, option C is a hours, option D is a days, option E is a none of the above. So correct answer is a B. It means the basic motion time study gives times for basic motions in ten thousands of minute. Question number forty. Choose the wrong statement. Motion study is used for option A, improving a work method. Option B, improving a work. Improving a work method. Option B is improvising a work method. Option C is designing a work method. Option D is providing a systematic framework. Option E is reducing inventory cost. So correct answer is E that will be a wrong statement so motion study is used all of these three but not in the reducing inventory costs okay question number 41 gantt chart provides information about the option a material handling option b proper utilization of manpower option c is a production schedule and option D is a efficient working of machine and option E is all of the above correct answer is a C it's it's provide information about production schedule question number 42 ABC analyzes deals with option A analyzes of process chart option B flow of material option C is a ordering schedule of job and option D is a controlling inventory costs money and option E is all of the above correct answer is a D controlling inventory costs money question number 43 process layout is employed for option A batch production option B is a continuous type of product option C is a effective illustration of machines and option these are all of the above and option E is none of the above correct answer is E it's a batch production question number 44 for a product layout the material handling equipment must option A have a full flexibility option b employee conveyor belts trucks tractors etc option c b a general purpose type option d be designed as a special purpose for a particular application option is arranging shops according to the specialization of duties so correct answer is a d it means for a product layout the material handling equipment must be designed as a special purpose for a particular application question number 45 travel charts provides option a an ideal of the flow of materials at various stitches option b a compact estimate of the of a handling which must be done between various work section option c the information for changes required in rearranging material handling equipment option d and approximate estimate 
of handling which must be done at particular section and option E is a solution to handling techniques to achieve most out, out uh, sorry optimum results so correct answer is a B total charts provides a compact estimate of the handling which must be done between various work sections question number 46 product layout is a employed for option a batch production option b is a continuous production option c is a effective utilization of machines and option d is all of the above and option e is none of the above so correct answer is b product layout is employed for continuous production question number 47 the most important objective behind plant layout is option a overall simplification uh, safety of integration option b is economy in space and option c is a maximum travel time sorry maximum travel time in plant and option d is to provide conveniently located shops and option is to avoid any bottlenecks so correct answer is a most important objective behind plant layout is a overall simplification safety of integration question number 48 the process layout is a best suited where option a specialization exists option b machines are arranged according to sequence of operations option c is a few number of known standardized units are to be produced option d is a mass production is a envisaged option e is a bought out items are more so correct answer is a c process layout is a best uh, suited where the few number of non standardized units are to be produced question number 49 a low unit cost can be obtained by following option a product layout option b functional layout option c is a automatic material handling equipment option d is a specialization of operation and option e is a minimum travel time plan and compact layout so correct answer is a a low low unit cost can be obtained by following is is a product layout question number 50 military organization is known as option a line organization option b line and staff organization option c is a functional organization option d is all of the above option e is none of the above correct answer is a military organization is known as a line organization question number 51 the main disadvantage of line organization is option a top level executive has to do excessive work option b structure is rigid option c communication delays occurs option d all of the above option e is none of the above so correct answer is d all of the above question number 52 the main advantage of line organization is its option a effective command and control option b is a defined responsibility at all levels and option c is a is a rigid discipline in the organization and option d is ability of quick decision at all levels and option e is all of the above correct answer is e it's all of the above question number 53 is a Patrick W. Teller introduced a system of working known as option A is line organization, option B 
line and staff organization option c is a functional organization option d is a effective organization option e is none of the none of the above so correct answer is a c it will be functional organization question number 54 the silent features of a functional organization is option a strict adherence to specification option b separation of planning and design part option c each individual maintains functional efficiency option d work is properly planned and distributed and option e is all of the above so the correct answer is e it's all of the above question number 55 the most popular type of organization used for the civil engineering construction is option e is line organization option b is a line and staff organization option c is a functional organization option d is effective organization option e is none of the above correct answer is a it's a line organization most popular type of organization used in the civil engineering question number is 56 Templates are used for option A is a planning layout option B is a flow of material option C is a advancing a uh, program in automatic machines option D is a coping is a complicated profiles and option E is none of the above correct answer is A it will be planning layout question number 57 in steel plant the most important system for material handling is option a conveyors option b is a cranes and uh, hoists and option c is a trucks option d is a locus and option e is a none of the above so correct answer is a d but some people are uh, you know answering about the conveyors question number 58 routing prescribes the option a flow of material in the plant option b proper utilization of main power option c proper utilization of machines option d is a inspection of final product and option e is none of the above so correct answer is a routing prescribes the flow of material in the plant question number 59 Queuing theory deals with problems of option A material handling option B reducing the waiting time waiting time or ideal time option C is a better utilization of main services and option D is a effective use of machines and option E is none of the above so correct answer is B queuing theory deals with the problem of the reducing the waiting time or ideal time Question number 60 Standard time is defined defined as option A is the normal time plus allowance time option B is the normal time plus ideal time plus allowance time option C is the normal time plus ideal time and option D is a only normal time for an operation and option E is none of the above correct answer is A standard time is defined as uh, defined as the normal time plus allowance time question number 61 father of industrial engineering is option a is jack gilbert option b is a gant option c is a teller option d is a newton option e is none of the above so correct answer is c it will be wf teller question number 62 the grouping of activities into organizational units is a cold option a is a corporate plans option b is a higher level management option c is a functional authority option d is a department departmentation and option e is a company policy so correct answer is a d the grouping of activities into organizational units is a cold departmentations question number 63 which of the following organization is a preferred in automobile industry option a is a functional 
organization option b is a line organization option c is a staff organization option d is a line and staff organization and option e is a scalar organization so correct answer is a d organization organization is a preferred in automobile industry is a line and staff organization question number 64 which of the following organization is a based suited for steel plant option a is a functional organization option b is a line organization option c is a staff organization option d is a line staff and functional organization and option e is a scalar organization so correct answer is a it will be functional organization it means best suitable for steel plants are functional organization question number 65 the wastage of material in the store is taken into account by the following method in the evaluation of the material used from the store option a inflated system option b is a primary cost method option c is a current value method option d is a fixed price method and option e is a variable price method correct answer is a it will be inflated system it means the wastage of material in the store is taken into account by the following method will be is an inflated system in the evaluation of the material issued from the store question number 66 which of the following is independent of sales for a cost option a is a productivity option b is a inventory control option c is a production planning option d is a production control option e is a capital budgeting so correct answer is a, it will be productivity it means the independent of sales forecast is a productivity question number 67 gantt charts are used for option a is a forecasting sales option b is a production scheduling and option c is a scheduling and routing and option d is a linear programming and option e is in none of the above correct answer is a b it will be production scheduling gent card gent charts used for production scheduling question number 68 inventory management consists of option a effective running of stores option b is state of merchandise methods of storing and maintenance etc option c is a stock control system option d is all of the above option e is none of the above correct answer is d it's uh, all of the above it means inventory management consists of effective running of stores state of merchandise methods of storing and maintenance and stock control system okay question number 69 gantt charts provide information about option a is a break even point analyzes option b is a production schedule and option c is a material handling layout option d is a determining selling prices and option e is a value analyzes correct answer is a b gantt card gantt chart provides information about production schedule question number 70 inventory control in production planning and control aims at option a achieving optimization option b is ensuring against market fluctuations and option c is acceptable customer services at low capital investment in inventory option d is a discounts allowed in bulk purchases and option is regulate supply and demand so correct answer is c inventory control in production planning and control aims at acceptable customer services at low capital investment in inventory
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी इन इन्वेंट्री कंट्रोल द इकोनॉमिक ऑर्डर क्वांटिटी इज द ऑप्शन ए ऑप्टिमम लोड साइज ऑप्शन बी हाईएस्ट लेवल ऑफ इन्वेंट्री ऑप्शन सी लोड करस्पोंडिंग टू ब्रिक इवन पॉइंट ऑप्शन डी इज कैपेबिलिटी ऑफ अ प्लांट टू प्रोड्यूस एन ऑप्शन ई इज अ नन ऑफ द अब करेक्ट आंसर इज ए इन इन्वेंट्री कंट्रोल द इकोनॉमिक ऑर्डर क्वांटिटी इज द ऑप्टिमम लोड साइज क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी टू स्टेटिकल क्वालिटी कंट्रोल टेक्निक्स आर बेस्ड ऑन द थ्योरी ऑफ ऑप्शन ए इज अ क्वालिटी ऑप्शन बी इज अ स्टेटिक्स ऑप्शन सी इज अ प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑप्शन डी इज ऑल ऑफ द अब ऑप्शन ई इज नन ऑफ द अब करेक्ट आंसर इज सी इट्स बेस्ड ऑन प्रोबेबिलिटी इट मीन्स स्टेटिकल क्वालिटी कंट्रोल टेक्निक्स टेक्निक्स आर बेस्ड ऑन द थ्योरी ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी थ्री द एपलेट एपलेट अथॉरिटी द एपलेट अथॉरिटी फॉर एन इंडस्ट्रियल डिस्प्यूट इज ऑप्शन ए इज मैनेजमेंट ऑप्शन बी इज लेबर कोर्ट ऑप्शन सी इज अ हाई कोर्ट सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड ऑप्शन डी इज अ बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स एंड ऑप्शन ई इज अ प्रेजिडेंट करेक्ट आंसर इज सी इट विल बी हाई कोर्ट एंड सुप्रीम कोर्ट इट मीन्स द अपलेट अथॉरिटी फॉर एन इंडस्ट्रियल डिस्प्यूट इज अ हाई कोर्ट और सुप्रीम कोर्ट अंडर द अप्रेंटिसशिप एक्ट ऑप्शन ए ऑल इंडस्ट्रीज have to necessarily train the apprentices option b industries have to train apprentices according to their requirement option c all industries employing more than 100 workers have to recruit apprentices option d only industries employing more than 500 workers have to recruit the apprentices option e All industries other than small scale industries have to train apprentices. So correct answer is D. Only industries employing more than 500 workers have to recruit apprentices. It will be under the Apprenticeship Act. Question number 75. Standing orders which are situatory are applicable to option a all industries option b is a all processes industries and the thermal power plants option c is only major industries option d is only key industries and option e is all industries employing more than the 100 workers so the correct answer is e it means standing order which are situatory are applicable to the all industries employing more than the 100 workers question number 76 acceptance sampling is widely used in option a is a batch production option b is a job production option c is a mass production option is a all of the above and option e is a none of the above correct answer is c it will be for the mass production it means acceptance uh, sampling is widely used in mass production question number 77 the technique of value analysis can be applied to option a is a compatibility complicated items only option b is a simple items only option c is a is a crash program items only and option d is a cost consequences items only and option e is any item correct answer is e it will be in any item it means the technique of value analysis can be applied to any item question number 78 the term value in value engineering refers to option a is a total cost of the product option b selling price of the product 
option C is a utility of the product and option D is a manufactured cost of the product and option E is a depreciation value so the correct answer is a C it means the term value in the value engineering refers to is a utility of the product question number 79 value engineering aims at finding out the option a is a depreciation value of a product option b is a resale value of the product of a product and option c is a major function of the item and accomplishing the same at least cost without change in quality and option d is a break even point when machine requires changes and option e is a selling prices of an item so correct answer is a c it means value engineering aims to aims at finding out the major function of the item and accomplishing the same at least cost without changing in quality question number 80 in the perpetual inventory control the material is checked when it reaches its option a minimum value option b maximum value option c is a average value option d is a alarming value and option e is a original value so the correct answer will be minimum value it means in the perpetual inventory control the material is checked when it reach reaches its a minimum value question number 81 according to mapi formula the old machine should be replaced by new one when option a here is the full form of cam means challengers adverse minimum and dm means uh, defenders adverse minimum so option a is a cam is a less than the dam option b is a cam is a greater than dam and option c is a cam is equal to dam and option d is a, there is a no such criteria and option e is a none of the above so correct answer is a it means according to mapi formula the old machine should be replaced by new one when cam means the challenges adverse minimum is a less than the dam means different different defenders adverse minimum okay question number 82 is a merit question number 82 is merit rating is the method of determining worth of option a is a job option b an individual employee option c is a, a particular division in workshop and option d is a machine option e is overall overall quality so the correct answer is a b it means merit rating is a, the method of determining worth of an individual employee question number 83 material handling and plant location is uh, analyzed by option a is a uh, is a gantt chart option b is a bin chart option c is a immersion chart option d is a travel chart option e is a activity chart so correct answer is a d it will be travel chart and question number 84 works cost implies works cost implies option is a primary cost option b is a factory cost option c is a factory expenses option d is a, a primary cost plus factory expenses and option e is a none of the above so correct answer is a d 
it means work cost implies is primary cost plus factory expenses is question number 85 motion study involves analysis of option a is a action of operator option b is a layout of workplace option c is a tooling and equipment option is all of the above and option e is none of the above so motion study involves analysis of correct answer is a it will be actions of operator question number 86 standard time as compared to normal time is option a is a greater option b is a smaller option c is equal option d is a, there is a no such is a correlation and option e is none of the above correct answer is a standard time as compared to normal time compared to normal time is a greater question number 87 pick up the incorrect statement about advantages of work sampling option a is a permit permits a fine breakdown of activities and delays option b is a simultaneous study of many uh, operators may be made by a single observer option c is a calculation or easier method is a economical and less time consuming option d is a no time measuring devices are generally needed and option e as uh, operators are not uh, watched for long periods and chances of obtaining misleading results are less so here is a correct incorrect statement is a a it means permits a fine breakdown of activities and delays it's it's a wrong statement question number 88 in which of the following layouts the lines need to the balanced option a is a process layout option b is a product layout option c is a fixed position layout option d is a plant layout option e is a functional layout so it means the following layouts the lines need to be balanced in which it will be the product layout question number 89 which of the following layouts is a uh, suited for mass production option is a process layout option b is a product layout option c is a fixed position layout option d is a plant layout option e is a functional layout so correct answer is a b it will be product layout it means the product layout is a uh, suited for the mass production Question number 90 Which of the following layouts is a suitable for uh, suitable to the job production Option is a process layout option B is a product layout option C is a fixed position layout option D is a plant layout option is a functional layout So correct answer is A is a process layout for suitable for a job production Question number 91 the employee provident fund act it means epf act is applicable to option a is all industries option b all industries other than small and the medium industries option c is a volunteers and option d is a industries notified by the government option is all major industries so correct answer is a d the industries notified by the government okay question number 92 the amount deducted from the salary of workers towards employees provident fund it means pf is option a credited into reserve of company option b deposited in a nationalized bank option c deposited in a post offices option d is deposited in the account of worker with employer or the reserve bank of india option e is a 
deposited in the uh, account of worker with provident fund commissioner so correct answer is e the amount deducted from the salary of workers towards employee provident fund is uh, deposited in the account of worker with provident fund commissioner so now the question number 93 the deduction for employee provident fund starts option a immediately on joining the services option b after 60 days of joining the services option c is after 100 days of joining the service and option d is after 240 days of joining service option is after one year of joining the service so correct answer is a d after 240 days of the joining of service question number 94 father of time study was option a fw fw taylor option b is hl gant option c is fb uh, gilbert option d is rm burns and option e is hb maynard so the correct answer is a it, it was fw taylor question number 95 tick 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 the old man out option a tick means write the old man out option is a teller option b is a drucker option c is a mac george and option d is a galileo option e is a parkinson so correct answer is the dates was galileo that was the old man out question number 96 current assets included option a is a manufacturing plant option b is manufacturing plant and equipment option c is a in inventories and option d is a common stock held by the firm and option e is all of the above so correct answer is a, a current assets included manufacturing plant question number 97 the objective of time study is to determine the time required to complete a job by option a fast worker option b is a average worker option c is a slow worker option d is a new entrant option e is any one of the above so correct answer is a b the objective of time study is to determine the time required to complete a job by an average worker. Question number 98. Question 98. Job enrichment technique is applied to option A. Reduce labor monotony. Option B is a overcome boring and demotivating work option c is a make people happy option d all of the above option is none of the above correct answer is a d all of the above question number 99 for ship vessel industry the following layout is the best suited option a is a process layout option b is a product layout option c is a fixed position layout option d is a plant layout option is of so the correct answer is a c for ship vessel industry the fixed position layout is a best suited question number 100 in lc in lc 50 50 plan output standards are established option a by time study option b uh, from previous production records option C from one's judgment option D all of the above option e is none of the above correct answer is B in LC 50 50 plan output standards are established from previous production records